Hi everyone, welcome back to more YouTube channel. It's Chris Bowen and the rumour has it video where we talk about players linked to the football club this coming transfer window. Now, this video you're about to watch, you may say, that's a little bit delayed, Chris. People did that weeks ago, but we thought it was really pertinent to do this video right now because the lad we're talking about being linked to is a centre forward and it comes fresh off the news of more injury woes in that position within the squad. So we're going to talk about this lad right now. Before we do, a little reminder, as we always say, if you like what you see, smash subscribe, help the channel grow. We're close to 8,200 subs now, actually, which is amazing. So thank you so much to everybody who has clicked that button so far. I know we have to do an 8,000 subscriber prize. We will do that very soon. The live shows are coming back this Monday, so keep an eye out for it. We may very well do a little cheeky draw in that particular show or shows forthcoming with. But if you like it, smash it, subscribe. It's all free content. If you want to be a member, there is an option down there too. You get access to videos like this or the rants, whatever flicks your switch on the ever more content stream. So who am I talking about today? Well, I'm talking about a centre forward, right? And before I pull this lad up, I need to address this point. This is almost a rant and a rumour has a video, two for one for you. So you might have seen the news yet again. Callum Wilson is fucking injured yet Again, it's almost like saying it's raining in Cumbria. It's just the norm. Callum Wilson in injuries. He's not even kicked a fucking ball yet and he's injured. He's going for a, a surgery on his back or something like that. And if there's any more testament to the fact that regardless of how good Callum Wilson's done at this football club, and he's done brilliant things, he needs to get shifted out and sold. But if he's not going to get sold, and we're going to keep him for another season, we need to buy another centre forward to take the pressure off Alexander Rizak be able to come in and fill in for him so he can rest or play alongside him. And Callum Wilson cannot be trusted because he's injured all the fucking time. So that's that little run out of the way. This is the lad we're going to be talking about right now. You've seen him before. He's been linked. Other fan media have covered him. It's Jonathan David, the Canadian international fresh off scoring a couple of goals in the Copa America, I think, as well, for Canada. Or Canada, eh? Um, Plays for Lille in France, uh, 24 years old. A real goal machine, a real talented player. Good at running with the ball. Pacey. Great movement, takes up great positions and an instinctive finisher as well. Everything we'd be looking at really to give us an upgrade on Callum Wilson. He's 24 years old as well. He's eight years younger than Callum Wilson. And look at the stats. 34 times he's played uh, in uh, uh, League 1 for Lille last season. 19 goals. He's fit. What did Anthony Gordon say? The best ability is availability. Inside the Callum cannot give us that right now. So looking at Jonathan David stats before we talk about the links, because there is other clubs interested in him. And I think Newcastle are going to have to move for this really quickly. I think this latest injury to Wilson might like a fire under their arse to get that shit together. So looking at the stats there, you can see his goals, you know, and his, his XG are right up there, you know, in the high 80s. His goals to shot ratio is high up in the 90s as well. Shots a little bit further down. Shots on target are really high. Assists Kind of fair in the middle, and you know, for a centre forward again, you look at Callum and his, his assists are terrible because he, he scores goals, he doesn't create them. But Jonathan David is a bit better than Callum, so he's kind of in the middle there in that regard. Shot creation assists is there as well. Pass completion is really high key, pass is pretty good for a centre forward. Touches slightly lesser down, uh, but he's not someone who has loads of touches of the ball. I think what he does is touches off and he makes his run and he gets in those goal scoring positions. Progressive carries are fairly decent as well, so he can carry the ball at distance. He's not too bad if he's coming deep and helping out defending. He can get the ball, drop a shoulder, run. He's very talented running with the ball, great close control on him. You know, we can win free kicks, can make something happen as well. So a very, very talented player all around, in my opinion. If you look at the radar grid there, on the other side, how he compares to Cam, he pretty much eclipses Callum and everything else. Uh, the goals, kind of there, they're about to think in that regard. And the XG and the shots are just slightly heavily weighted in Callum Wilson. He does pull the trigger quite a lot, to be fair. But you can see the goal return from Jonathan David there, you know, from Ghent, 67 appearances and 33 goals. And Lil 181 appearances and 83 goals. He seems to have been destined for the Premier League for some time. And I think this summer could see that happening. So transfer market got valued at 42 million, but he's in the last year of his contract. So that is going to drop significantly. And I think 25 million would be enough to get this lad through the door. The weekly wage is quite low, as you can see there. Very, very manageable for Newcastle United. So the links themselves, the links have been around for quite some time. And it sounds like Jonathan David has been added to the shortlist of players Newcastle bring in for that key position of centre forward. Now, it sounds like Eddie Howe wants to keep Callum Wilson, but with the new hierarchy in place where Eddie has a lot more people to I don't know, answer to, is maybe too strong of a word, but justify maybe some decisions. And I think holding on to Callum Wilson and saying he's a key member of this squad, this injury to Callum will only help 
um, the other members of that board go, hmm, I'm not sure really, maybe we should bring another player in. You know, FFP is a situation there, of course. But for 25 million quid, I think Jonathan David is sound investment. He he has uh, been linked to the likes of Spurs and Chelsea are also involved, but Roma have also entered the equation now as well. And the issue maybe I have with that is that it sounds like breaking news in the transfer world is that Lukaku is being discussed as a permanent transfer. Napoli, obviously, he was on Ro- a loan at Roma, sorry, a Roma at Loner. Yeah, he was on loan at Rome. It's hard to say that. I just saying after four pints. That's a good drunk test, that, by the way. Sobriety tests say go try and say on loan at Roma. So, yeah, he was on loan over there. Play for Jose Marino before he lost his job. It doesn't look like Roma are interested in taking him back. Chelsea sure as shit don't want him, so it looks like he's going to Napoli. Now, that would leave Roma open to sign on the centre-forward. Uh, obviously, Tammy Abraham has been talked about getting shoved out of the club. Um, they've still got the ball there as well, but he's more of an attacking midfielder. So, Jonathan David could appeal to Roma and the fact that the Kako ain't coming in. You know, I think that there's talk of a pre-contract already being agreed. So, if Newcastle are going to do something about getting a player of Jonathan David's standing and getting him in there, you got to move now. Newcastle, you can't drag your heels. You have to move now. What worries me here a little bit about the centre forward situation is Alexander Rizak is clearly our number one centre forward, and rightly so. The lad is immense. But if Callum Wilson is the number two centre forward, that's fine. When he's fit, he scores goals, right? But he's never fit. Very rarely fit. He's 32 years old. His body's getting older. The recovery from injuries take longer. He's already injured in pre-season before kick the fucking ball. He's going to miss the entire pre-season. He's not going to be fit for the Southampton game, so it'll take him weeks to get back to fitness. What will probably happen is he'll come on against fucking Ipswich or Villa or some of like that. He'll maybe score a goal. We'll all go, yeah, Callum's back. Yeah, yeah. The next game, he'll tear his, his arse cheek and be out for 19 weeks again or something like that. Newcastle cannot let this shit happen again. Too many injuries. This is the whole point of bringing James Bunsen to try and stop these injuries. But in someone like Callum Wilson's body, I'm sorry, Father Time has overruled everything here and he's just too fucking old and he can't recover from injuries quick enough. He's been injured probably on and off for the last seven years of his career. I'm not doubting the lad's quality as a player. He's a really good centre forward. He scores goals when he's fit, but he's very seldom fit. And Newcastle cannot roll the dice and gamble on this lad's fitness for the entire season. No fucking chance. If you can get a player like Jonathan David in for 25 million quid, 24 years old, international, proven, can do the business. He's done it in the Champions League as well. He's done it in the Europa League. Yes, he's done it in League One, which you could say is an inferior league to, uh, to, to the Premier League. But the guy can score goals and he would fit straight into the squad. I don't think you'd expect the start of Alexander Rizak. He'd be happy being that number two centre forward. But if he did want to do a front two or... Or maybe Isaac pulls up the left and David goes through the middle for looking at chase games. I think he could do that job as well. He's not a player that's at that level where he expects to come and start above an Alexander Isaac. So Newcastle really need to pull a finger at the arse and do something here. Even if they were going to go out and buy a young centre forward to learn from Wilson Isaac, you'd probably have to drop the thick end of 20 million quid, like like Delap at Manchester City, who was on loan at Hull last season. They won 20 million from him. So David for 25 million is an absolute no brain in Newcastle. Pull your finger out and get that deal done. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think about the Jonathan David links as well. Would you take him in Newcastle? And also, what do you think about Callum? Have you had enough? Is it time to let him go? Who the fuck wants him if he's injured? He's going to go play for Holby City FC. He's got that many fucking injuries. But would you happy to have him at the club as a third choice striker and then let his contract whittle down and he goes in a free? Let us know in the comments below, guys. We always like to hear from you. Smash a like, subscribe, help get us to 8,200 as quick as we can. We're going to be back on Monday with a live show. Me and Mark, half past nine. What's going on? Really looking forward to it. We've missed you through the summer. We can't wait to have a bit of crap with you. Make sure you tune in, guys. Hit the notification bell so you don't forget when we go live. Have a belter, and we'll see you later.